Okay, in this video we're checking out the B-Brain BL16 stack. I think this is also called the Hive16 stack. It's the one that I reviewed a uh, prototype on in this little model that they sent me. It's a 3-inch uh, ultralight. Uh, it's just, you know, it's got the same Hive16 stack in there, which you can, can't really see too well. There you go. And I did a video on that already. Um, I'll put a card in the corner if you want to check out that video. Now they've, this is actually the, the production version of it. And let's just take a look at what it comes with. It's a 16 by 16 stack. It all comes assembled here, as you can see. We've got some connectors. We have a XD30. We've got a PH 2.0 connector. So this does 1S or 2S. So I think this is going to be this connector here is going to be for 1S, and then the XD30 is going to be for 2S. And let's get this stack out of here. This is um, it's got some mounting. Hardware, some M2 screws on the bottom there, and this comes all assembled. They don't recommend you take this apart at all. So let's go and pull this little foam off. Okay, it looks like uh, this is kind of new. I think they've added some uh, these little dampening standoffs here for vibration dampening on the bottom. And the reason they don't want you taking this apart is they have these small pins here that connect all the boards, and then they have these um, M2 metal standoffs that connect all of the boards together so it shouldn't break in a crash it should be pr fairly robust but if you take it apart you got to be very careful not to damage these pins because if you do then then you're kind of toast so this is meant to be an all-in-one unit here all together i don't think it's meant for swapping parts out for other things uh, you have a uh, one to two s four and uh, one esc down here uh, uh, basically it gets up to 12 amps on this one and then you have a flight controller, F4 flight controller with a built-in FreeSky SPI receiver with diversity antennas. So yeah, you see you have one antenna here, and it's a FreeSky receiver. And then you have another one over here. And I believe the antennas are connected uh, via little micro FL connectors right there. Very hard to see. And the top board here is going to be your OSD plus your video transmitter, which is power switchable between 25 and 200 milliwatts and comes with a little um, whip antenna here. But of course, you could uh, swap that out for circuit the polarized antenna with a micro FL connector if you want to do that. It uh, doesn't look like the connector for the camera is included. It's kind of interesting. There's a little connector right there. That's for the, uh, I think it's meant for the BI camera, but then obviously it'll work with any five volt camera. That's the camera that's in here. I'm, I'm not sure why that connector isn't included. They should include that if you want to connect up alternative cameras. So some feedback I'll be giving a newbie drone to include that connector because um, I think that's an unusual size. I, in fact, I don't even have that connector myself, I don't believe. So I'm going to find a, I'm gonna have to have them send me that to actually build this into something. Um, and it looks like they've made some changes to the ESC. There's like, it looks like some heat sinks here. because so I think it does get pretty hot on 2S. So that's a new feature. Uh, and yeah, but that looks like it's, um, as far as I can tell, I think it's only really, the only thing that's really different from what I can see. Obviously, I'm not going to take it apart. I don't want to risk damaging it. Yeah, you know, the micro USB port there, of course. And so this is very lightweight. Um, yeah, I'll put the weight up here on the screen and I was like, I'll share it to look it up. But yeah, this is going to be really good for your super lightweight build. So actually, this is this came at a really good time because I'm going to actually put this in my Tomaquad's Whoopi build. And if I saw that video where it looked like I was getting some vibrations and shaking, it turns out uh, my uh, Beta 75X ESC board has been getting some twitching over time. It's been getting worse and worse and uh, obviously causes jello in the video um, and what happened was uh, the last time i tried to fly this the esc went up in smoke so i think one or two of the ecs was probably damaged in a, in a crash from a while back and it's been slowly getting worse and worse and getting more vibrations than you saw in the last video for this one so it's time for this one to go and of course uh, this frame does take a 16 by 16 stack so it'll fit in nicely here i will probably use um, some sort of plugs and solder them onto this guy here. So yeah, I'll uh, through the magic of editing here, I will go ahead and uh, stick this on, and we'll see what it looks like with uh, this new stack 
uh, versus the uh, the old Beta 75X stack on there.